I feel like Vitafly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime roll. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That one was crazy out of the game. Sometimes that's Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the Vitafly. We used to rap it like that. I'm always out the grind Stack up in the kitchen out to serve the number nine piece Free all my niggas, little bro, doing the nine piece You looking for the key, the dope hole where you can find me Lo just hit my phone, fire, send me over you already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers. That notification gang, ricegangclothing.com for the merchandise. You heard me right. All right, so I want to get into this King of the Dots Grand Prix. Uh semi-final matchups i had peeped the marv one versus excel i peeped the j murder versus times i missed the m city versus uh oops respectfully i mean it was what it was because the time had kind of got pushed back it was supposed to start earlier in the day but then the motherfucking uh internet had got messed up and then when the internet got messed up, the battle didn't go down, so the shit got pushed back. But it actually did a lot of us a favor because I was watching football during the day anyway in family time. So when the shit got pushed back, it was actually better for us. I didn't want to, I didn't feel like going, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't feel like going down in the studio tonight. Um, so let's get into it. And so first of all, salute to King of the Dot, Organic, the whole movement, Gully TK. Uh, I spoke to Gully earlier in the week because I had kind of spazzed on him about the... Um, Judging from the last week, I had spazzed in my last blog and we spoke respectfully and he said, you know, they was mixing up the judges and getting different people involved. They had Math Hoffa this week. He offered me to do it. I said, uh, that's a lot of money on the line. I don't really want, you know what I'm saying? I fuck around and pick the wrong person or I ain't hear this. Or I like to just focus and watch from this level. But respect to Gully, respect to King of the Dot and everything that they're doing because Ultimately, somebody's going to be provided an opportunity to win $50,000. That's enough money to bake biscuits for the whole project, B. Um, so, Marv 1 versus XL. Salute to XL. Salute to Marv 1. Uh, XL has a dynamic pen. He's able to write. He has bars. He's able to put together line after line after line. And he has a good cadence to him. But Marv 1 has an inept ability to just be able to say certain shit at certain times to take over battles. For those who didn't see uh, Marv 1's first round, uh, he came out, he was choppy. He had some choppy moments in there. Like He had a couple of tits, a couple of bars here and there, but he kind of like stumbled and slipped. He had some choppy shit. Um, but XL went first. XL went first. Good round. Marv 1 goes, stumbles a couple times, but still got off some dope material. I had XL up 1-0. But somehow, after the first round, it was like XL's round was like right here. Marv's round was right here. Close, but not too far. You know, XL got the first. Then it was like XL's second round was there, same level, but then Marv 1 leveled up. And then the third round, Excel's third round was here. Marv 1's third was here. Like, he leveled up. It just kept leveling up. And that's the thing. Like, when Marv 1 is leveling up, I'm just thinking, like, damn, Excel, you need a round. Like, you got you got to level up. You got to go high. You got to go high. And he just didn't. All three of his rounds was good, but I don't have a one crazy round where he just took it to Marv 1. Even the first round, he got the first but it was because Marv 1 was like slippy, blippy, choky, jokey. So if Marv 1 would have had a crazy first round, I don't even know if he would have got the first. But uh, he got the first respectfully. Uh, second and third, I gave the Marv 1. I didn't give the Marv 1. Marv 1 took. He had, he had a line. He said something like, I got something 4XL like my shirt size, like the 4XL. Just dynamic bars. And he, he, he just wigged throughout. Marv 1 will be moving on to the final four. Uh, he deserves it. Uh, he showed that ability to break down his opponent, to use different complex schemes, still have punches, still be able to move around. He, he had a bullet, a bar about a bullet going in and out of him, and he walked around him at the same time. It was good to see Marv 1 in that bag, like, 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 like for real, B. It was good to see Marv 1 back in that bag. I ain't gonna hold you, because like Marv 1 is the type of nigga that you don't even really know if he be really into it sometimes. Like, sometimes he get, like, kind of lazy. You know how you got a nigga on your job that 
will do the job if the manager shows up. But when the manager's not around, the nigga be bullshitting. But when the manager's walk back in, the nigga start getting on his shit. Like sometimes I just I, I don't I don't really be knowing like for real, son. What's up with Marv One, son? But uh, today he showed up. Oh, he's getting closer and closer to that fifty piece. So I I, I can only see Marv One getting crazy. And respectfully, as a legend, this is what I want to see from Marv One. Like I like these dominant performance. You know, he 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 kind of clearly won. All the judges gave the battle to Marv One, and respectfully so, because Marv One was in his motherfucking bag. Uh, XL, you did good. Went far in the tournament, and you know you you very easily could have if Marv would have had if you'd have had one of them rounds that was just a elevator round that would have you know I did this right here first round Marv won you had them here second round boom third round boom if you'd have had one like a boom boom like a like a like a you know what I'm saying like if you'd have had one of those you'd have got him out of here but Marv one's a legend and you're not gonna get him with just material that's just your material wasn't bad but it just wasn't like I didn't have no no memorable shit that made me like, oh my God, 4XL like my shirt size type shit. Uh, then it was Jay Murder and Times. Uh, Times, I'm just getting to see some of him. Like I haven't really seen a lot of him. I seen him in a couple battles before. All on the tournament though. This nigga's like, he's like fresh out the stands. It's like, you know how like in the NBA games, when like they go to halftime and shit and they like pick a nigga out the crowd to like make a layup, then shoot a free throw and go shoot a three-pointer, then go shoot a half-court shot for $100,000. He's like one of them niggas. I ain't never seen this nigga heard of him from nowhere. Like, I'm gonna keep it a whole stack with you. I never seen this nigga. I never heard of this nigga. I don't know this nigga. I ain't got no history on him. I think he got like 20 followers on Twitter and shit. So this nigga's like super new. But in that, he still gets busy though. Like, but the thing is like when he rap, he be on one path. Like he just, like he, you know how like in Madden when you can't really play, so you just pick Hail Marys, go routes. Like every play of his is a go route. All aggression. Uh, he's not bad. He's the type of nigga that if you do anything other than what you came to do, like if you ain't going to structure to break him down and get through all of your shit, you're going to lose. Because he's going to do what he needs to do the whole fucking round. He ain't going to give you no super pick. Haymakers, he's going to throw mad jabs. He's going to Alex Smith you to death. He's a nigga that could throw 30 passes for 100 yards, but they're all five yards and under. <laughs> it's no Hail Marys. It ain't none of that shit. But he's like, just going. Boom, boom, boom. I blast the gun. Ask your son. Ask your mom. Blast. Like, he's just like, just one straight wavelength. Think about Jay Murder. Jay Murder had better material, you dig? His material was better. He did have better material. He was able to talk about he had mad times flips. That was fire. Uh, he, he was in his bag. But his bag had a hole in the bottom. And niggas ever went to like Chipotle or some shit. And when you have the bag and like a little juice, a little subsidiary juice get at the bottom of the bag. And then when you lift the bag, the shit falls out. So he was in his bag, but his bag had juice in it. So when he went to lift the brown paper bag up, the shit fell out the bag. In his third round, well, I had Jay Murder. I had, uh, well, I had Times edging the first. I had Jay Murder winning the second. And then in the third round, Jay Murder did some shit like he was rapping. Then the shit got real choppy. But then the nigga pulls out his phone. But the nigga's like trying to find his raps. But then he says like, come take this flick with me, my nigga. But he's like, it, this shit was wild nasty. Like he was like, look, I don't know if he was looking for his raps or whatever. But the nigga was looking for his raps while he was rapping to this nigga. But the whole time the shit is wild, choppy, sloppy. And... I just knew that if Times had another one of these fucking Hail Mary drives where he's just going to rap straight to you for two minutes, he's not going to lose. So uh, Times, he did have one of those because he went first, as a matter of fact. And Jay Murder, his round was just way too choppy. For 50, 50, I got to get a shot of 1800 for you, Murder. 50 grand. I'm going to give you some too. I'm gonna do a shot of 1800 to get for 50 grand, my nigga. You need something for 50. Yo, 50 grand, my nigga. I, 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 yo, I ain't gonna hold you, my nigga. I'm on some real murder shit. Anyone that ever looked at me wrong, owes me money, or said any jealous bullshit is fucking dead.
Jay Murder. I don't know. Like, it was just too sloppy. And I be seeing, like, sometimes, you know, niggas be on live. Niggas be on social media and shit. Niggas got to cut all that shit out and just focus on the mission at hand. The mission at hand is shit all. If I'm rapping for $50,000, I ain't tweeting. I ain't retweeting. I ain't going live. I ain't doing shit. Your material should have been super, 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 super down pat. But just in that third round, if Jay Murder would have got through three rounds, Jay Murder would have easily beat Times. And there's no knock against Times, but Times shit is just, it's just way too general. Like, it's general than, oh, Jay Murder, I forgot your shot, my nigga. It's just way too general. I mean, he's not beating Marv 1 with that shit. There is no way he's beating Marv 1 for 50,000 rapping in a straight line. There ain't no fucking way. Nah. It'll be Marv 1 versus Disaster. If Disaster gets past Saint. There ain't no fucking way you're going to general bar your way past the legend. Like, I'm sorry. It's just, I'm, it's not happening. I mean... It's way too much money to do to do this here. To 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 to, to do this? Homeboy, oh what's up? But um other than that, salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, um, ricegangclothing.com for the merchandise. You heard me right. Uh salute to all of the supporters out there. Um salute to my guy, Gully TK, as I said, and all the other folks from King of the Dot Organic and everybody else that's over there. I've always got a lot of love from King of the Dot. Um but y'all know when I got a spaz. I'm going spaz. I got to jump in my, you know when I got to jump in my bag, I got to jump in my bag. So, you know, respectfully, y'all keep it going. But I like the late shit. I ain't going to lie. I like the late shit. I know people was wilding. Oh, this is annoying. You know when you don't press uh, cancel? That's mad annoying. But um, what was I saying? Like, you know how people were spazzing because they wanted the uh, battles to be super early, 3 o'clock, 3 o'clock. I like the late shit. Everybody's sleeping. Nobody's up. I get to do my thing. And boom, boom, boom. We get to get up out of here. But other than that, salute to every single one of y'all niggas out there, man. Uh, Jay Murder. The phone. Mad Nasty B. Uh, XL. The, you had to XL in that round versus Marv 1. Marv 1 just was like, after he knew he was down 1-0. <sighs> that nigga jumped in another bag. And I'm gone. Struggling the way, hustle nigga, how we gon' eat The boy from love, so I turn to the street These niggas sold me so many lies I know I make a struggle to speak Don't I? Boy, she in the mall, they hit with the fifth wire She said I smell like honey and marijuana Shots fired, got the spot hotter than the sun I'm at city, the murder rate, triple every fucking song